filling in the gap between episodes 4, A New Hope, and 5, The Empire Strikes Back. We are here discussing Marvel Comics' Star Wars Lando, issue number 2. Lando and Lobot have just successfully stolen a yacht from the Imperial shipyard, or so they think. As they are racing to escape the gravity well so they can blast off in the hyperspace, three Imperial Star Destroyers stand between them and freedom. While Lobot seems concerned about the trouble they seem to be in, the arrival of such a large Imperial presence gives Lando confirmation that the ship they stole is very valuable. The Imperials, wishing to send a message about what happens to those who fail the Empire, destroyed the station where the ship was docked and everyone on board. This look at Imperial justice mirrors their actions elsewhere, punishing large groups of people for the errors or transgressions of a select few. Now the lead Star Destroyer dropped gravity mines in an effort to disable the pleasure craft. But, as luck would have it, it seems the ship has a very sophisticated automatic defense system, which completely incinerates the mines well before they could cause any damage. The Imperial Star Destroyers are locking on with the tractor beam, having been told that a prize will go out to whomever can retrieve the stolen craft. That's two separate tractor beams attempting to lock on to the yacht. Lando flies the ship straight into the two beams, fooling the beams into attaching to the opposite Star Destroyer, pulling the two ships on a collision course together. Elsewhere, on Amethia Prime, Chanath Cha, a bounty hunter, is collecting a big bounty on some scum whose fortress he just blew up. However, upon collecting the target, he receives a call. Sorry about this, my friends, but when this particular client calls, you drop everything. Emperor Palpatine seems to have a job for Chanath. Though the Imperial fleet is after the stolen ship that we now know is called the Imperialis, the Emperor does not believe that they will succeed, and he asks Chinoth to retrieve the ship for him. And if he can't retrieve it, destroy it. Lando manages to make the jump into hyperspace, escaping the Star Destroyers. Now that they are not being gunned down by the Imperials, Lando takes the time to evaluate the value of what he stole. However, when Lobot went to open a secure room, a pair of Imperial guards jumped out and attacked him. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe to keep up with all the insight and analysis found here at Star Wars The Canon Explained. You can also follow us on Twitter or visit us on Facebook. Till next time, may the Force be with you.